Lesson number 91. Miracles are seen in light. It is important to remember that miracles and vision necessarily go together. This needs repeating and frequent repeating. It is a central idea in your new thought system and the perception that it produces. The miracle is always there. Its presence is not caused by, vi by your vision. Its absence is not the result of your failure to see. It is only your awareness of miracles that is affected. You will see them in the light. You will not see them in the dark. To you then, light is crucial. While you remain in darkness, the miracles seem, the miracles remain unseen. Thus you are convinced it is not there. This follows from the premise from which the darkness comes. Denial of light leads to failure to perceive it. Failure to perceive light is to perceive darkness. The light is useless to you then, even though it is there. You cannot use it because its presence is unknown to you. And the seeming realities of the darkness make the idea of light meaningless. To be told that what you do not see is there sounds like insanity. It is very difficult to be convinced that it is insanity not to see what is there and to see what is not there instead. You will not doubt that the body's eyes can see. You do not doubt the images they show are your reality. Your faith lies in the darkness, not the light. How can this be reversed? Is it, for you it is impossible, but you are not alone in this. Your efforts, however little they may be, have strong support. Did you but realize how great the strength, did you but realize how great the strength your doubts would vanish? Today we will devote ourselves to the attempt to let you feel the strength. When you have felt the strength in you, which makes all miracles within you easy, which makes all miracles within your easy reach, you will not doubt. The miracles you sense of weakness, the miracles your sense of weakness hides will leap into the awareness as you feel the strength in you. Three times today, set aside about 10 minutes for a quiet time in which you try to leave your weakness behind. This is accomplished very simply as you instruct yourself that you are not a body. Faith goes to what you want and you instruct your mind accordingly. Your will remains your teacher and your will has all the strength to do what it desires. You can escape the body if you choose. You can experience the strength in you. Begin the longer practice periods with the statement of true cause and effect relationships. Miracles are seen in light. The body's eyes do not perceive the light, but I am not a body. What am I? The question with which the statement ends is needed for our exercises today. What you think you are is a belief to be undone. What you really are must be revealed to you. The belief you are a body calls for correction, being a mistake. The truth of what you are calls on the strength in you to bring to your awareness what the mistake conceals. If you are not a body, what are you? You need to be aware of what the Holy Spirit uses to replace the image of a body in your mind. You need to feel something to put your faith in as you lift it from the body. You need a real experience of something else, something more solid and more sure, more worthy of your faith and really there. If you are not a body, what are you? Ask this in honesty, then devote several minutes to allowing your mistaken thoughts about your attributes to be corrected and their opposites to take their place. Say, for example, I am not weak, but strong. I am not helpless, but all powerful. I am not limited, but unlimited. I am not doubtful, but certain. I am not an illusion, but a reality. I cannot see in darkness, but in light. In the second phase of the exercise period, Try to experience these truths about yourself. Concentrate particularly on the sense, on the experience of strength. Remember that all sense of weakness is associated with the belief that you are a body, a belief that is mistaken and deserves no faith. Try to remove your faith from it, if only for a moment. You will be accustomed to keeping faith with more in you as we go along. Relax for the rest of the practice period. Confident that your efforts, however meager, are fully supported by the strength of God and all his thoughts. It is from them that your strength will come. 
It is through their strong support that you will feel the strength in you. They are united with you in this practice period in which you share a purpose like their own. Theirs is the light in which you will see miracles because their strength is yours. Their strength becomes your eyes that you may see. Five or six times an hour at reasonably regular intervals, remind yourself that miracles are seen in light. Also, be sure to meet temptation with today's idea. This form would be helpful for this specific purpose. Miracles are seen in light. Let me not close my eyes because of this. I love this lesson. Lesson number 91, miracles are seen in light. Okay, let's see what Magdalene has for us today. I'm trying to get comfortable. I love this hotel. It's the Hilton in uh, Old Town, Alexandria. Okay, hold on a second. Let's try to get that light. Greetings, beloveds. In the light and the truth of God, miracles are occurring constantly. Miracles are the sense of love. And in the darkness, what is bred there is fear. In the darkness, you have grievances. In the darkness, you have fear in the darkness. You do not see what is truly there. And in the light of love, you see the truth. Allow yourself today, beloveds, to be rigorous in these exercises. Bring yourself to see that the light has come. Bring yourself to see that there is light in every instance, in every interaction, in every thought. There is light behind it. And if you find yourself thinking thoughts that produce grievances, that produce upsets, that produce harm, that produce hatred, that produce anger, that produce anxiety, look for the light behind it, beloveds. Look for the miracle that exists behind it. You yourself are a living miracle. You yourself are a production of love and light. Look for the light within, beloveds, and you will find it. When you come upon another that you've had an argument with, whether it is your spouse, your children, the people with whom you work, people who you believe have differences of opinions, understand that there is a light of truth that is between you. Look for that today. Look for it in the words that they speak. Look for it in their eyes. Look for it within their heart. Do spend these three moments closing your eyes and going within and knowing that the light is there to be revealed to you. For what you seek, you will indeed find. And ask for assistance with this one, beloveds. Allow us to come and point you in the right direction. You may be facing the right when you need to be facing the left. You may be looking down when you will find the light and looking up. You may be looking at something that is not really there. This is more the case than anything else. And then you miss what is truly there, which is the revelation of the light, the light of truth within you, the light of truth, which can actually be viewed externally to you. This may seem unreasonable, when you have been so sure that what there is to do is doubt. Doubt that miracles can occur, doubt that miracles are real. You have been working with these lessons for several months and your minds are beginning to shift. You are beginning to look for 
what is good and what is right and what is beautiful and what is peaceful. You are beginning to look for the miracles. Ask us, beloveds, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would be the action that I could take that would produce the most light? And know that miracles will come for you, beloveds, as they come for all of us. You see, we ourselves are a living miracle. And when you realize that you yourself are the miracle, you yourself are the light, you yourself are the love, you can then project that onto every circumstance that you have. Where you have fear, say, please help me to see this in the light of love. Please help me to understand the miracle that this truly is. And then allow yourself to go within, beloveds. For there is a peaceful place inside of you, an aspect of you that is but love. And you have merely forgotten. You have merely been led astray. The egoic mind has attempted to protect you by saying, do not go to this person. Do not go to this place. For here, you need protection. Protection is indeed a construct of the egoic mind. When all there is is love and all there is is light, what is there to be protected from? And yet you have forgotten. Allow yourself to remember, beloveds, that the light of God and the light of truth is with you always. Miracles are seen in light. Ask for the light to come, for it is right there where you are. At every moment, it is the breath that you breathe and the breath that breathes you. It is the love that you extend from your heart. But when you have children, as God has children, you love these beings, you love these creatures with everything that you have. You would do anything for them. You would give anything to them. God sees us in this light of perfection, beloveds. This was how we were created. There is no other way for us to be viewed. Allow yourself today to fall back into the arms of the love and the light that God is. Allow your heart to shine forth with the miracle of light and love that you are. And then extend that light and love to all beings in all circumstances. Wherever you have held a grievance, find innocence. Wherever you have found a lie, granted truth, and wherever you have found fear, instead find love and find light, and you shall truly find yourself. It will indeed appear miraculous, for miracles are the revolution, the revolution of your heart and of your mind. You are revolting against the ways in which you have let the ego dominate you in which the ways you have surrendered to the ego. Go within, beloveds, and find the power and the strength through the love of God that exists in you, and as you, and through you, and extend that to all beings whom you encounter. And know that indeed the light has come, and you are that light. Find that within, and let the miracle be that revelation for you always. Blessings to you, beloveds. Call upon us to assist you in this journey, for we are with you always. And we will speak with you again. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. I will uh, speak with you all tomorrow. Much love. Have a beautiful day.